Welcome to pre-math. In this video lesson, we got a system of equations 6 power x plus 6 power y equals to 42 and x plus y equals to 3. And now we are going to solve for x and y. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and call this very first equation as equation number one and this second as equation number two. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this equation one. And here I have copied it down 6 power x plus 6 power y equals to 42. Now since we want to find the value of x and y, so we are going to manipulate this equation and the very first step we're going to do is we are going to multiply this equation, the both sides, by 6 power x. So let's go ahead and multiply this side of this left side by 6 power x and on the right hand side 6 power x as well. And now let's go ahead and distribute uh, this one. So we are going to get uh, 6 power x and then times 6 power x uh, once again. And plus I can write 6 power x times 6 power y equals to on this uh, right hand side I can write this one 42 times 6 power x and now in this next step this could be written as 6 power x and then whole power 2 plus and for this part we are going to use this product rule so this could be written as 6 power x plus y equals to 42 times 6 power x but then we know that this x plus y equals to 3 from this equation 2. So therefore I am going to replace this x plus y by 3. So therefore we can write this equation as 6 power x and then a whole power 2 plus this becomes 6 power 3 equals to 42 times 6 power x. And now in this next step, I am going to replace this 6 power 3 by 216. So therefore, we can write 6 power x and then whole power 2 plus 216 equals to 42 times 6 power x. And now let's focus on this 6 power x over here and 6 power x over here. Let's make things simple by making a substitution. Let me go ahead and call let u equal to 6 power x. So therefore we can write this equation as u square plus 216 equals to 42 times u. Let's move this 42u on the left hand side. So we can write this one as u square minus 42u plus 216 equal to 0. And now we can see that this is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by factoring. And now we can see that 216 could be factored out to 6 and 36. So let's go ahead and factor this one out. So this could be written as u minus 6 time u minus 36 equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and separate these two factors. I can write u minus 6 equal to 0 and this side u minus 36 equal to 0. So therefore this is going to give us u equal to positive 6 value and here we're going to get u equals to 36 value. But then we know that u equals to 6 power x so I'm going to replace this u by 
6 power x equal to 6 and likewise on this side I can write this one 6 power x equal to 36 as well. Now we are going to consider both cases. This is case 1 and this is case 2. So let's go ahead and focus on this case 1 first and here we got 6 power x equal to 6 and 6 could be written as 6 power 1 and now we can see that our bases are same if the bases are same we can equate these exponents so therefore I can write x equals to 1 and that is our x value but then our uh, from equation 2 our x plus y equals to 3 and I have copied down x plus y equals to 3 let's go ahead and replace x by 1 and solve for y so 1 equals to y equal to 3 and subtract 1 from both sides say this 1 and negative 1 they are gone so our y value turns out to be 3 minus 1 is 2 so thus in case 1 our x value turns out to be 1 and y is 2 I can write down x equal to 1 and y equals to 2 value and now let's focus on our case 2 6 power x equal to 36 and we can write 36 as 6 power 2 so therefore we can write 6 power x equals to 6 power 2 and now we can see that our bases are same so therefore we can equate our exponents as well so therefore I can equate this x equals to 2 so therefore our x value turns out to be 2 and now we need to find the y value and we know that x plus y equals to 3 from this equation 2 and here I have copied it down x plus y equals to 3 let's go ahead and replace x by 2 so I write down 2 plus y equals to 3 let's go ahead and solve for y so let's go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides this 2 minus 2 they are gone so our y value turns out to be simply 3 minus 2 is 1 now we can see in this case 2 our x value is 2 and y value is 1 so I can write x equals to 2 and y equals to 1 so thus here we got our complete solution the first one is x equal to 1 and y equals to 2 and the other one is x equals to 2 and y equals to 1 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye